my name is Andrea Capere, and you're watching Mission Nonprofit. As the weather warms up, our feline friends might be a little more mischievous than usual. We've invited Tom Otto from Canopy Cat Rescue to talk about keeping your kitty out of harm's way. Thank you so much for having me, Andrea. Can you tell us how you and Sean got started? Well, you know, Andrea, every arborist, tree climber at some point in their career is probably going to get asked to rescue a cat. We started doing this more and more, and um, and uh, we we decided that you know we didn't want to do it for for money. It wasn't about to us. It was never a business plan. First of all, to rescue cats, but it was also never um, something that we wanted to profit off of. It 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 seems more like uh, less like an interest and more like a, a calling for us, um, where we feel like you know we're 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 here to do uh, provide a service. Yeah, we we got to film uh, ten episodes with Animal Planet. And it was really fun having a crew follow us around and. Um, you know, they got to they got to see what it's really like to rescue a cat, um, and and we got to share that with a lot of people. And we found there are a lot of kids that really like the show, and we uh, we ran across some YouTube footage of some kids pretending like they were us, and so that's that was just really awesome. We were we were thrilled to see that. Can you can you share a little bit about that satisfying moment of rescuing a cat? So rescuing cats, um, you know, people sometimes go, what, you, what? you rescue cats out of trees? And well, cats will climb down, right? And um, oftentimes they don't, um, and they stay up for a really long time. And people get really frantic. I mean, this is a family member, right? This is somebody that they hear crying outside, their, you know, outside and they, they're, they, sometimes when we're talking to them on the phone, you can really hear their, you know, their, 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 they're really upset. So to go and get that cat down and, and hand it back over to them and is just, it really is awesome. It makes us feel great. It makes us feel like we're, we're superheroes. And oftentimes we, we joke about, well, we're not really rescuing cats so much as we are rescuing people. How often do you receive calls? Oh, every day. Um, we, today I think we've, we've probably had, I think, three calls. I think we're at 130 for the year so far, so. It really did boost. We were getting about 200 so calls or 200 we're 200 so rescues a year and um, after the TV show we that bumped up to more like 400 calls um, I shouldn't say that 400 rescues we probably get another 160 to 180 phone calls where either the cat comes down or somehow the 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 situation gets resolved without our inner you know us showing up let's see a canopy cat rescue in action and our first rescue of 2017 goes to Pickles here. Grab some stuff here. Need some things, don't need some other things. Hi, sweet girl. The family misses you. Are you gonna be okay for me? What do you think? Your mama said a coyote chased you up there. Hi. Hey. I'm here. Hi, good girl. She's been stuck in this tree for 13 days, her owner said. It's been really, really super cold. There's lots of snow out here. I can't believe she's doing so well. Hi, pretty girl. Dora. Oh my gosh. Dora. <laughs> I'm out of the tree. <laughs> I love that end shot with the kitty back at home with their family. Can you walk us through what's the process once you get a call? from that frantic family member? Um, we need to, we, we like to find out what the temperament of the cat is. So we ask them, you know, is the cat friendly? What happens when people come over to your house that are strangers to the cat? Does it run and hide or does it come out and want to immediately meet them? That, those kinds of questions are really telling for what we might experience when, once we get up in the tree. We sometimes are a little skeptical that, that people tell us extra days to try to get us to come out sooner, but once we see these cats, they're just a bag of bones. They're just really skinny, and um, so those those are the situations that would you know would get us to go drop what we're doing and and head out. Well, thank you so much. You're for welcome. Coming. Thanks for having having me out. That's all we have for you. You can see Mission Nonprofit on Channel 77 on Sundays at 4:30 p.m., Tuesdays at 7 p.m., Thursdays at 7:30 p.m and Saturdays at 6.30 p.m. You can also catch us online at tcmedia.org. See you next time.